Good morning everyone. In this video, we are going to cover the current affairs. For mobile optimized ebooks, please install GK Today Academy app. For regular updates, please join our Telegram channel. The link is given in the description box. We have started a new channel, Civils Academy. You can subscribe to it if you find it relevant. Now, let's start. T-Fiber project, which was in news recently, is associated with which Indian state? So, it is associated to Telangana. And it is high-speed broadband connection initiative by the Telangana government. So, the objective is to provide optical fiber network. Now, why it was in news recently? Because the state government gave the status of vital public purpose to this project. That means now, this project will be implemented at a higher speed and all the necessary work related to approval of this project will be done on priority basis. Now, because of this project, Mission Bhagirath was also in news. So, it is a mission of Telangana government to provide drinking water to the households and this is going to be done through pipes. Now, how these two initiatives are connected? So, Telangana government is using these pipes for spreading these optical fibers. That means they are not digging extra and they are spreading these optical fibers along with the pipes of Mission Bhagirath. Under Mission Bhagirath, drinking water supply will be provided to the households and the water will come from River Godavari and River Krishna. Union Cabinet approved MOU, that is Memorandum of Understanding between India and which country for exchange of information in the electricity sector. So, this is between India and USA. And for this purpose, CERC is going to join hands with FERC. Now, what is the CERC? It is Central Electricity Regulatory Commission. So, it is Regulatory Commission of India and it is related to electricity sector. FERC stands for Federal Energy Regulatory Commission. So, this is related to USA. And now, these two organizations are going to share information with each other and this is going to be related to electricity sector. USA was also in news because of Sudan as recently it declared that Sudan is no longer a terror sponsor. That means now as per USA, Sudan is a peaceful country. USA was also in news because of Turkey as it imposed sanctions on Turkey for buying S-400 missiles from Russia and these sanctions were imposed as per Katsa that is countering American adversaries through sanctions act. USA was also in news as recently it blocked cotton from the Xinjiang province of China as USA think that China is using forced labor of Uyghur Muslims. What is the IUCN status of black soft cell turtle? So it is extinct in wild that means it is no longer available in wild. Recently black soft cell turtles were released in the wetlands of Kajiranga National Park and it is in Assam. Now, what is IUCN? It is International Union for Conservation of Nature. Recently, IUCN was in news because it updated the red list of threatened species. So, IUCN released a red list of species who are threatened. And this red list have separate categories. For example, extinct, extinct in wild, CR, EN, VU, NT and LC. Now, LC stands for least concern. NT stands for near threatened. VU stands for vulnerable, EN stands for endangered, CR stands for critically endangered, EW stands for extinct in wild and EX stands for extinct. So these are the categories mentioned in the red list and red list is issued by IUCN. IUCN is International Union for Conservation of Nature. What amount of financial assistance has been approved for the sugarcane farmers of country? So it is 3500 crore rupees. Recently, CCEA, that is Cabinet Committee on Economic Affairs, headed by Prime Minister, approved this financial assistance. This is for sugarcane farmers. So, this is expected to benefit 5 crore sugarcane farmers and 5 lakh workers in sugar mills. Actually, right now, the problem is that sugarcane farmers sell sugarcane to sugar mills. Now, sugar mill owners are saying they do have surplus stock already. So, they are not able to sell these and therefore, they do not have money to pay back the dues of farmers. So now, government is planning to evacuate the surplus sugar from sugar mills so that the sugar mill owners will have money to pay back the dues of farmer. 
as of 2020 when was the most recent spectrum auction held in india so the most recent spectrum auction held in 2016 recently union cabinet headed by prime minister approved the next round of auction of telecom spectrum now what is this telecom spectrum just like we need road for our vehicles so similarly in telecom sector for communication spectrum is needed and government auction this spectrum so telecom companies will pay to the government for this spectrum and how they are going to recover the cost they are going to recover the cost from consumers like you and me what new parameters have been incorporated into 2020 human development index the new parameter is co2 emission and material footprint so recently UNDP released human development index India is on 131st position as per this index now this human development index is prepared on the basis of three parameters life expectancy education and per capita income this year that means in 2020 it incorporated a new parameter and it is co2 emission and material footprint that means impact of co2 or carbon emission on the human development index and therefore it introduced planetary pressures that means how human beings are putting pressure on the environment or on the planet so now it is going to be calculated as PHDI that is planetary pressures adjusted human development index the economic report eco rap is released by which organization so it is released by SBI that is State Bank of India recently SBI was also in news as it signed agreement with JBIC that is Japan Bank of International Cooperation and it signed agreement with JBIC of amount up to 1 billion dollars SBI was also in news as recently Mercedes Benz collaborated with SBI to target HNI customers that is high net worth individuals SBI was also in news as recently SBI General Insurance collaborated with Intercity Rail Yatri why they collaborated to offer 5 lakh rupee travel cover so it is a travel insurance cover worth rupee 5 lakh and for this SBI General Insurance collaborated with Rail Yatri which animal has been sighted for the first time in the Himalayan cold desert region so it is Himalayan Siru it has been spotted for the first time in the Himalayan cold desert in the Spiti region in Himachal Pradesh these are herbivores so these are similar to goat but they have long ears now what is the meaning of herbivores it means animal that eat plants animal that eat meat are carnivores and animal that eat both are known as omnivores the young champions of earth prize is awarded by which organization so it is given by UNEP that is United Nation Environment Program and it is given every year to the scientist entrepreneurs and engineers as well as to the activist so the headquarters of UNEP is in Nairobi in Kenya and it was founded on 5th of June in 1972 now this year the young champions of earth prize was also given to actually it is given to seven individuals and one of them was Vidyut Mohan he is from India and he is the co-founder of Takachar so this enterprise help farmers to prevent the burning of their crop residue so it prevent stubble burning and it help farmers by using that to earn extra income instead of burning it the swarnim Vijay Masal has been lit by the Prime Minister of India to commemorate which historic event so it is to commemorate Indo Pak war and it was a war of 1971 and the result of this war was Bangladesh and with this Swanim Vijay Masal the 50th anniversary of Indo Pak war has started now recently Bangladesh was in news because it signed its first PTA that is preferential trade agreement with Bhutan please note that Bhutan was the first country to recognize Bangladesh India was the second one to recognize Bangladesh recently Bhutan was in news as it formalized the diplomatic relationship with Israel recently Israel was in news as Morocco normalized relationship with Israel Morocco is African country capital of Morocco is Rabat so these were the most important questions now we are going to cover important events so first is reimbursement of COVID-19 related medical expenses 
So Maharashtra government has announced that they are going to reimburse the COVID related medical expenses incurred by the government employees and their family members. That means the government employees who were infected because of Corona and later they were hospitalized. So the state government is going to provide this money to those government employees. That means they do not have to pay it from their own pocket. The government will provide this. Next is best of 2020 FIFA awards. So it was given to two individuals, one in main category and another in female category. So in male category, it was given to Robert Lewandowski and in female category, it was given to Lucy Bronch and she is the first female English player to win this prize. Next is Nehru Geological Park. So first thing first, it is in Telangana. Why it was in news? Because it became the first in India to get ISO certification for quality management. And the certification was given by ASCB that is accreditation services for certifying bodies and it is related to UK that is United Kingdom. So name of geological park is Nehru Geological Park. It is in Telangana. Why it was in use because it is the first to receive ISO certification for quality management. The certification has been given by ASCB that is accreditation services for certifying bodies. Next is court of arbitration for sport. So it is a court to settle the sports related issues through arbitration. The headquarters is in Lausanne in Switzerland. Why it was in use because Russia's ban from international sports events has been reduced by CAS and now it is reduced to two years. That means for next two years, Russia won't be able to participate in any world championship or in Olympic games. Next is Sukhbir Singh Sandhu. So recently he was in news as he is the current chief of NHAI that is National Highway Authority of India. And this NHAI is under Ministry of Road Transport and Highways. Now he has been given the extension of six months as chairperson of NHAI. That's why he was in news. Next is Jewar Airport. So it is going to be named as Noida International Airport. It is in Uttar Pradesh. Next is National Digital Health Mission. So recently, Dr. Harshwadhan, the health minister, approved the health data management policy of this National Digital Health Mission. Next is India Indonesia Corporate, that is Coordinated Patrol. So it was 35th edition. It was between India and Indonesia and it was between the navies of two countries. From Indian side, INS Kulish participated in this exercise. Next is E20 Fuel. So recently, Union Road Transport and Highways Ministry proposed the adoption of this E20 Fuel. What is this E20? It is ethanol blended with gasoline. How much ethanol is blended? 20% ethanol is blended. So this will be used as automobile fuel. Next is Padubidri Beach. So it is in Karnataka. Why it was in news? Because the administration has decided to open this beach for the tourist. Recently, it was also in news because it received blue flag certification. And this blue flag certification is given by FEE. What is FEE? It is Foundation for Environmental Education and it is a Denmark based entity. Next is world's largest Jew. So Reliance Foundation is going to build world's largest Jew in Jamnagar in Gujarat. Next is reimagining human mobility. So every year International Migrants Day is observed and it is observed on 18th of December. And the theme of this International Migrants Day was reimagining human mobility. Apart from that, 18th of December was also observed as Arabic Language Day. Next is US Space Force. So the members of US Space Force will now be known as Guardians. Next is Prishram Portal. So this portal has been started by Odisha government. Odisha Chief Minister is now in Patnayak and this portal will be useful in ease of doing business and this will help in the industrial development in the state of Odisha. So these were the most important events. Now we are going to cover the last test. So RBI is going to set up its automated banknote processing center in Jaipur. It is in Rajasthan. Project Loon is related to Google to provide internet services 2020 State of Education Report. This was released by UNESCO. European leaders agreed to cut the greenhouse gas emissions by 55% by 2030. In fact, France decided to hold a referendum to include the climate change issues in the constitution. Next is Ambrose Delamini is associated to 
Eswatini. Actually, he was the Prime Minister of Eswatini and he passed away recently because of coronavirus. Next is which bank launched Pioneer Heritage Initiative. So it has been launched by Indus Ind Bank and it is the first metal credit card. Next is which state decided to launch Kisan Kalyan Mission. So Uttar Pradesh has decided to launch this scheme for the welfare of farmers to double up the income of farmers. Next is under which project the naval ship Himgri was constructed and launched. So it was under project 17A. Next is which country has announced referendum to add climate change goals in its constitution. We already covered that. It is France. Next is what is the name of digital platform that would be used to track the beneficiaries of COVID vaccines in India. So the name of platform is COVID. Now test for today. First question is Sakti bill is associated to with state. Second question is who has been elected as the vice president of Asia Pacific Broadcasting Union. Third question is which entity released 2020 global status report for buildings and construction. Fourth is who is the chairperson of FSDC that is Financial Stability and Development Council. Fifth question is which Indian bank launched FX for you platform and this is a platform for forex remittance through internet banking. Sixth is where is the headquarters of India's first maritime theatre command. Seventh question is Netaji Subhash Chandra Bose Museum is going to set up in which city. Eighth question is with which country India is going to establish a task force why this task force will be established for the mutual recognition of academic qualifications. This country is the host of G7 meeting next year and it has invited India for this meeting. In fact, the Prime Minister of this country is going to be the chief guest of our Republic Day ceremony. Next is what is the name of new digital payment application launched by IPPB that is India Post Payment Bank. Also answer it is under which ministry. Next is Prime Minister laid foundation stone for the country's largest renewable energy park in which state. So these are the questions of your test. Now please make sure that you write down your score in the comment box and you actively participate in this test because at the end of the day it is you who is going to appear in the exam. I don't have to appear in exam on your behalf. So please make sure you show little bit of interest in these initiatives. Thank you and that's all for the day.